Well, hello everybody, I'm Cassandra Donnelly from Creative Passages, and I'm here today to share my painting called Extension. And it's done on 140 pound Canson watercolor paper, 9 by 12. And I really just wanted to come to the art studio to play with my acrylic paints and have some fun and de stress. I got really inspired today by Blake Lillian Hellman from the Kitchen Counter Abstract. She's on YouTube and she's a lot of fun. She's an intuitive abstract painter, much like myself. She also combines a lot of collage. But I noticed lately I haven't done a lot of acrylic painting. Not that I haven't done that a, a lot of painting in the past, but lately I've done mostly collage, oil pastels, pan pastels with only a little bit of acrylic. So today I wanted to primarily make an acrylic painting. So that's what I'm doing. I'm using the golden acrylic paints and I'm also going to be using the Karen Dinesh crayons and I try to use a painter pen to no avail and a, a Stablio pencil. Um, there's one exception with the paints. I also use an Amsterdam um, Paints Gray. Anyway, but lately I've been inspired by this color that's sort of a rusty coral pink. And for some reason I've just really drawn to that color. So I wanted to sort of use colors that were complementary to that, incorporate that color into this painting. So far I have like a coral peachy color and some yellow. The coral peachy was made with quinacridone magenta and titanium white. And then this uh, aqua color that I'm using was made with cobalt teal and titanium white. And then I also threw in a little burnt sienna to see if I can get more of that rusty pink color. And then also I'm using the Benzie, <laughs> Benzie Mouth Dazalone Yellow Medium from Golden. And I try to use a painter pen here, but it's not working. So I decide that was sort of a blue painter pen. So I'm going to go back to the cobalt till and use that and draw my lines with that. So I'm scratching into it too. I'm really into the uh, <clears throat> graffito, scraffito. And um, right now I just want to get loose. I just want to play. I just want to make some lines and um, you know, I'm drawing those circles. I am really drawn to circles. It is a, a shape I use a lot. Now I'm getting out the ultramarine blue and I'm mixing it with the white. And honestly, it makes this like light periwinkle color. And I, I like regular periwinkle, but I'm not too drawn with, with this shade of blue. It's a really cool blue and I'm thinking it will look nice with it, but I didn't like it, so I added some other colors to uh, make a gray. And basically, I'm trying to make a color scheme that's slightly, you know, muted down a little bit instead of like really, really bright. So I'm also making some sort of greenish yellow colors and I'm basically blending some of the colors I've already used with the new colors to just kind of make everything kind of blend together and be complementary. And now I'm using that Amsterdam Payne's Gray and I want to introduce some contrast because so far everything was kind of the same in tone and value. So now I want to make things kind of pop a little bit and um, just bring in some nice uh, lines and elements of design. So I'm, you know, randomly creating some, some lines and playing and I'm really trying to work through my stress. I have gone through a lot of stress lately. <sighs> and um, it can be hard sometimes um, when you life throws a lot of things at you. Um, the biggest stress is, you know, my daughter's pregnancy. Um, she's about seven and a half months along, and um, the baby has some significant health issues, which would ba basically um, challenge its life. Um, it, it's very stressful to to be dealing with something that's gonna. Um, constantly have to be monitored and um, require surgeries and, and things like that. I'm not saying the details just because my daughter's kind of private and she doesn't want me to. This bright yellow here, I know it looks a little odd right there, but I softened it up and I'm going to add it elsewhere. 
So, and then on top of that, stressors, there's other, like, major stressors, and just, you know, does life ever feel like there's just so many things that are just coming at you that, that need to be fixed, or that don't have a solution? Um, I, I can't talk about the other stressors either. Mostly relates to things not happening to me directly, but because they're part of my family, um, they, they stress me out. So now I want to add, um, some gold. You know, I love the gold. It kind of reminds me of healing. It reminds me of the Kintsuchi, uh, Japanese method where they repair the pottery with the, the gold and it makes it more strong and beautiful than it ever was. So I see God, you know, doing that with my life. And whenever I feel overwhelmed and stressed out, or I feel like there's all kinds of broken pieces in my life, I like to throw that gold in to remind me that God is there and he's repairing the pieces no matter how chaotic or challenging life seems you know that God is there so I took that stencil brush and I used it it was kind of stiff it needs to be washed but I used it and it ended up making these horizontal lines which ended up looking like steps so that's what I saw and that's sort of the theme of this particular painting I call it extension what am I ascending to while well, I'm ascending to a higher place with God um, a higher spiritual authority a, a a place spiritually where I can withstand all the stresses and the things that come my way and not get in my flesh, not be fearful, not be agitated, not be overwhelmed, but trust in, in the Lord and know that He's going to take care of me regardless. Have the peace that surpasses all understanding. Sometimes these challenges that come at you can take you to a higher place spiritually. If you allow them to, we have two choices, right? We can either let them destroy us and bring us down. We can react to it destructively, or we can find a positive way to cope with things. And maybe those challenges will expand us in some ways and deepen our character or show us things about God's nature that we didn't see before. And so that's what I'm choosing to do. Um, I'm, I'm choosing to trust that the Lord is good. Um, Recently, I've, I've come to the conclusion that because of my past trauma, that my body and, and my central nervous system has, has constantly been on like overdrive and <clears throat> my parasympathetic nervous system has been constantly activated. And, um, and I want it to calm down, but it's it's like activated so long and so chronically for my whole life that I feel like I've been struggling with the shutdown response. And so I need to figure out how to soothe myself. Um, and so art making is one good way. You know, I'm trying to calm things down. I probably realize that I probably need more therapy to deal with some of the trauma that I, I've just, you know, recently suspected, like my my past marriage for instance and like all these stressors really that you go through you don't realize how much it takes out of you and when you already have like a trauma response from the past it, it's like you're constantly activated um and i know when i'm going through things uh that are <clears throat> very stressful where you know it's there's life in danger whether it's my the baby's life is in danger um it can put you on uh, like high alert so I'm trying, you know, to calm everything down and really press into God so that I can um, not be fearful and be more relaxed. But I'm asking God because he promises in scripture that he'll give us a light, easy yoke. And I'm asking him, so how can my yoke be easy when it already felt heavy and now it feels like it's getting ready to get heavier? How can you make it light for me and if you're not going to change my circumstances i mean god may or may not change your circumstances here i'm going to add some more gold to it then we have to trust that he there's a reason for it maybe he's expanding me in a, a character way maybe he's really trying to like root out all that fear and and get me to trust him on deeper levels you know because healing is in layers and you just don't realize how much it takes to to really 
heal from all that. I've done so much work already, but as new circumstances come up, you know, there's more layers that, that come up or things that God can point to you that still need to be addressed. Or maybe God's trying to work on my daughter to get her to trust him um, in new ways or get her to develop skills that she hasn't fully developed yet. God can use these challenges to open us up to, to new skills, new traits, new a deeper character and so that uh we just have to learn to trust him and to you know go with the flow um with everything that he has for us <sighs> my video stopped so it's hard to narrate when this happens because i can't see what's happening there we go <sighs> so It's almost done. So I want to add the Stavlio pencil. I've already like started over my narration process like three times. So I don't know if I want to do it again. But I, li I like narrating it because uh, I can speed up the process and then you don't hear the fan going on. And um, I'm going to put some beautiful background music, but uh, I need to make it a little bit soft so it doesn't, you know, compete against my voice. And, um, you know, I'm really happy with this, this painting here. So I think it captures exactly, you know, what I'm going through, all, all the stresses and ascending to the, that place in the spirit where I'm safe. I, I guess that what it, what it boils down to feeling safe, even when life doesn't feel safe, um, we can find a place in God that that's safe regardless and so you know that's that's the challenge and that's what I'm working towards I'm ascending as I feel pretty sure like I, I can I can get there but it is kind of frustrating when you find out you know you're not not as far as long as you thought or there's other you know issues that that are triggering to you um but, you know, I, and I'm thinking about all these new things that God's brought into my life. He's done so many changes already. And so when you're going through a trial, it's really important to focus on all the things that has changed, that God has done for you, and not get lost on the, the, the challenges. Um, because with my life, I've seen that God has not done major things in, in giant spurts, but what he's done is progressively healed me and changed my circumstances a little bit at a time. And he's really got me out of some bad situations in the past. And, um, he's really done so, so much for me. And, um, he, he's expanded my, my life and, you know, I've got, uh, ministry and now I'm a minister and I've, got my blog I got this YouTube channel I mean, think about th the fact that sometimes these trials can be used to encourage other people and I mean that is my my mission God's told me is to overcome and show others how to, to overcome as well and sometimes I just want to break from over trying to overcome you know um, but if that you know if that's what God's will is for me then I'm, I'm going to accept that Um, because I realize God doesn't owe us anything and this life is not our own you know it, it belongs to God and really the most important thing is the eternal life up in heaven so we got to keep our eyes focused on you know what will last eternally and so we know that any trials that we go through are just temporary um, and Jesus himself uh, went through trials and great suffering and he promised that uh, if we suffer with him we'll also be uh, <clears throat> raised up with him as well to a place where we will <clears throat> feel like we're triumphant where we'll have victory in these things so now I want you to see what I've made and I really do like it
So you can see it has so many lines and colors and textures. And I primarily just made it with just the acrylic paint that I was going to add the collage, but I really felt like it didn't need it. And you know, I oftentimes overwork my art, but I really didn't want to do that today. I wanted to just let it rest. So have a be blessed, everybody. Have a great day.